now to kill you for it. I'm going to cut you to the gut of the ice cream. Wait, what does Billy hear the killer? No, my, my real name is Ed Gein. The mass murder. Ed Gein? Who the hell's Ed Gein? You know, Ed Gein. Texas Chainsaw Mass Murder? You mean Leatherface. Okay, yeah, Leatherface. No, I mean Ed Gein. The serial killer killed two people. Oh, fuck it. Oh, he's just dead. Hello, I'm Mordecai Lacroix, and this video obviously is about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre myth. Texas Chainsaw Massacre never happened. It's based loosely off the Wisconsin killer, Ed Gein. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was marketed as a true story to attempt to attract a wider audience. The plot is entirely fictional. Leatherface is loosely based off of Ed Gein. The writer of the movie said elements of the film were based off of the serial killer Ed Gein in the 1950s Wisconsin. Ed Gein inspired other horror films such as Psycho and Silence of the Lambs. Ed Gein was known as the Plainfield Ghoul in The Mad Butcher. He was born August 27, 1906. He died July 26, 1984 in a mental hospital. The crimes of Ed Gein were committed around his hometown Plainsville, Wisconsin. Gein had exhumed corpses from local graveyards and fashioned trophies and keepsakes from their bones and skin. He even would wear the uh, skin, like, um, you might remember uh, Buffalo Bill in the movie Silence of the Lambs that would wear the women's skin because he thought he should was born should have been born a woman instead of a man. Well, that's exactly what Ed Gein was making. He was making a suit out of dead women in order to make himself into a woman. It was like some weird transvestite sexual experiment, I guess, if you will. In 1957, police found body parts in Ed Gein's house. Gein confessed to killing two women, Mary Hogan in 1954 and Bernice Wooden in 1957. Now, these are the only two confirmed kills by Ed Gein since... They could never prove if he killed anyone else. There were rumors that he killed his brother because his brother was burning down a marsh when they were younger, and there was supposedly bruises found on him. And the rumor is that Ed Gein killed him and then burned down the place to cover up the murder, but this was never proven, you know, due to the research that they tried to do. They could never prove whether or not he actually killed his brother. Gein was found unfit to stand trial, so he was committed to a mental health facility until 1968. He was tried for the murder of Wood Worden and sentenced to life imprisonment, which he spent in a mental hospital. Bernice Worden's corpse was found in Gein's shed. Her head and the head of Mary Hogan was found inside his house. Growing up, Gein's mother only let him leave for school and preached to Ed and his brother that drinking was evil and all women other than her were prostitutes and tools of the devil. She used Bible verses that approved of death, murder, and divine retribution. Gene was very feminine, and his mother abused him for that and abused him for not following the Bible. And Gene's um, murders and violent behavior still affect our culture today, such as the movies Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Psycho, Silence of the Lambs, and the others that followed afterwards. In fact, I've even heard that not only is Buffalo Bill in the San Salem movie based off of Ed Gein, but also Hannibal Lecter, because there were rumors that Ed Gein actually ate the bodies that he had actually collected, but it, this was never proven whether this was true or not. So now you know that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is not true, but is based off an actual killer from Wisconsin that killed people in Plainfield, Plainfield Wisconsin and was convicted to a mental institution until he died in 1984 due to heart failure. I'm Mordecai LaCrosse. Thanks for watching.